I, I agree with J.D. that from our point of view, 2024, Gaudi Mitzpez could be read as an almost comical representation of the mid-60s. They never mentioned the Beatles, which was really important around 1965. Um, and so comical that in parts of it, it's like hearing the church lady from Saturday Night Live, right? Uh, but th there are very serious dimensions to Gaudium et Spes as well. I'll mention a couple of them. Gaudium et Spes is the first uh, conciliar document in history to try to represent the church's social teaching. Now, bishops and popes began to develop what we call Catholic social teaching mid-19th century. I think Leo XIII was correct. It all begins with the Bishop of Mainz, Emmanuel von Kettler, in around 1848. Because begins giving sermons against the Prussians defending all of these basic principles of uh, uh, a purified social order, uh, uh, the rights of workers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that tradition that had been filtered through popes beginning with Leo XIII finally ends up in a council. And this document tries to synthesize about a century of serious Catholic social thought And what is serious Catholic social thought? It, it rests on a three-legged stool. That is, there are three necessary societies, marriage, family, uh, polity, and church. And when they speak of necessary societies, uh, necessity means two things. First of all, it means neediness. Man and woman need one another if they are to be about the business of the family. Technology has now intervened in so that maybe they don't need each other as nature would have it. But it begins in need. Uh, polity begins in need. We need to have relations of justice beyond the family, beyond the neighborhood. And if you don't have a way of having reciprocity and justice beyond your neighborhood, everyone's going to die pretty quickly. Yeah. Villages are not cool places to live in. All right? Hillary Clinton was wrong about that. Villages are very dangerous places. Polity begins in need. And uh, by the way, the church begins in the neediest of all situations, our need for the forgiveness of sins. But necessity also means that when we begin to grapple socially with the neediness that we have, uh, excellences emerge. The excellences of, of uh, marriage life. Uh, I think JD was absolutely correct to point out that speaking of matrimony as not merely procreation, that, that's the first neediness, and not simply um, remedy for concupiscence, but also spousal friendship. Necessity now is a kind of uh, human flourishing in friendship. Uh, and so I think Gabriel Spez is to be read uh, putting aside everything that seems obsolete and kind of funny about the document all these years later as being the first conciliar teaching on the necessary societies. And it's worked out quite nicely. Uh, I don't think I would recommend taking a pair of scissors and cutting out all of the kind of culturally obsolete stuff from 1965 and just keeping the social teaching uh, 
But you know, at the, close to the beginning of the document, when speaking about human neediness uh, and Christ, we have this famous line, when God is forgotten, the human disappears. That's real deep neediness. And uh, so these three necessary societies are crucial. Uh, I think this document is actually better than some recent pontifical documents. There was a recent pontifical document, I won't name it, that uses the term family 33 times, and in only four instances does it refer to a real family. It's sort of social teaching as a metaphor for all sorts of different things. Whatever you say about uh, Gaudi and Spence, it doesn't make that mistake. It, it, it's actually very keen and sharp in pointing out what societies are and how they differ from one another. And that part is to be retained. Thanks, Jenny.